All right, here we go. We're going to go through the steps to update your URL. So if you purchased a URL through something like GoDaddy, you want to have that be the destination for your app or, or your website set up in Bubble. We're gonna walk through those steps here together. So what we're looking at is the back end of the Makers Inc. website, which currently is being pointed to a URL called JustStartMaking.com, which actually my brother pointed out sounds a lot more like um, a slogan rather than a brand name. So in the process of updating that to Makers Inc., short for Makers Incubator, which is actually the URL that I've purchased, which I'll show in a second. And we'll see how to make that change and the process is, is essentially the same as the process you'd take if you were setting up for the first time, so it shouldn't be too much different if you're starting from scratch. But uh, the first thing you want to do is log into your, your Bubble uh, editor experience. Over on the left here, you can see there's space for settings, so click into the settings tab. Across the top, we have a bunch of other folder tabs. You're going to click into domain slash email. As you can see, I have juststartmaking.com as the, the URL that we're pointing to currently. So I've already gone through the process to set that up. I'm gonna change the app name. So we're gonna change it to Makers Okay, I had to hit change makersincubator.com. I wanted to get makersinc.com, but it's taken. So I don't want to go through the process of trying to buy it from someone yet. Maybe someday I'll update the URL again, but we're going to walk through under this URL domain of makersincubator.com. So you click set up this domain, which is going to prompt me to set up a Google map key, which I don't really care about right now. Okay, so this is what it looks like once you're trying to set your app domain. So it, um, the thing that's important here is it's it's now telling me the uh, sort of DNS record domain information that I need to make the updates in uh, GoDaddy where the, the URL was purchased so that when people hit that domain, it presents that the app that we're building in Bubble. So we have these values, which is what we were looking for. Now we can go over to, to GoDaddy. So the actual process of buying a domain is pretty straightforward. If you go to godaddy.com, they make it very easy for you to find and purchase uh, the URL that you want. The tricky thing is finding the URL that you want. So, um, you know, the majority of one word URLs are owned. So, um, Obviously this is varies from, from company to company, brand to brand, but you're gonna have to find a URL that works for you. Um, you could do like a, like a quick search. We'll see what this looks like and how it comes back. Um, so it's doing a quick search for makersinc.com, which is what I wanted. As you can see, it's letting me know that it's already taken, but for a fee, you can have them go and try and negotiate a price with the person who owns it. Um, they also give you a bunch of options for sort of alternative to .com URLs that, that are available. Um, there's no hard and fast rule of whether you should or should not do this. A lot of companies, specifically in tech, are, are using the .io as a alternative to .com so that they can get the short abbreviated branded name and URL that they want. It's totally a decision up to you. .com is still by far the most popular, so that's why I ultimately selected it for the URL that we're going to use here. So I'm going to try and get back to my desktop, look at my products. Um, I have a bunch of URLs, so sometimes I'll come up with an idea and just purchase the URL so that I don't have to worry about someone else taking it. Um, but I'm going to scroll down. I have Makers Incubator, as I said. We're going to click Manage. 
which will take us into the experience where we um, can set the, the DNS. So they have a bunch of basic stuff in the domain settings overview here. We're gonna scroll down past all of this and click on manage DNS. All right, so once that loads, if you're not familiar with this, what we're looking at is the DNS management for the URL makersincubator.com. And so essentially what we're looking at is the like mapping function for when a browser tries to go to makersincubator.com, how does the browser know where, what to present to the person using that browser. And um, it is not my expertise, sort of infrastructure and backend side of development, um, but it doesn't have to be your expertise. You can figure it out. It's really just about following a set of steps and hopefully I can show you what those steps are and we can, um, you can be in a position to do this yourself. So a couple things to point out there's a variety of different types of records that were shown here. So an A record is what we care the most about. And as you can see here, the value is parked. We're gonna to need to update and then add a couple additional A records to hopefully point the URL to our bubble app. So if I click back in here, you can see now this little box has four different type A value records to which are blank in the name to have www and then there's two different values across these different types 104.19.24193 with just this one and zero different and we're going to enter these into godaddy so i'm going to copy that value and edit this primary a so host at points to, this is what we want to update. So we want to point it to what we copied here. So this is interesting. I just realized I copied this. The last digit was three. When I pasted it at tacked on an A, I'm not sure why that happened, but all right, so that looks right to me. The other thing to know about this is like a lot of it is trial and error. You're going to try it, see if it works. And if it doesn't change something, <laughs> keep trying. All right. So we have the first one Now we're going to add a second, a record that points to host at. I just pasted the same thing, except the one thing that's changing is that 241 is changing to 240. I'm going to save that. So we now have the two um, A records with the name at that are slightly different. They're very similar, but a little bit different. That's these first two. Now we need two more A records that acknowledge the www. So um, All right. So it's saying there's an error. Okay, there's an error processing your request. Please try again if this issue continues, contact support. So I think what might be happening here is there's a C name www sending it to at, which is essentially mapping anything that starts with www saying send it to at, which essentially sends it to anything that's named at and then presents this value. So it may be redundant for us to add the additional www versions being presented here in bubble. So there's other stuff you can see on the name servers, some advanced features we're going to ignore all of that for now. We've added the A records that Bubble is requesting, and we've 
left out the www's because we got that error, but we're going to see if it works. So I'm going to check my settings. I'm expecting, yeah, to get back a, uh, hey, this didn't work message, which is what we're seeing here. Um, so part of the reason this happens is that it takes a little while for the changes that you've made in GoDaddy to propagate around the internet and for Bubble to be able to see them when it goes to check your settings. So that could be what's happening. Could also have it wrong. So this one is frustrating because it actually takes some time to figure out whether you've messed it up or not. So a little bit of patience and then we'll check back in and see if the original updates we made actually worked or if they didn't. All right, so we waited about, I think it was maybe 15 minutes and then click the button to check the settings again back in the bubble app. So you can see we're still back in the uh, application back in under the domain email section. I click the button to check the settings again and um, that's how long it took. So it, we got the success. You're all set. Makersincubator.com is working and ready to go. So we have successfully set up the URL. All we had to do was add two of the four that we saw because this www was pointing to the at which sent it to the, the first value and then the second value you see here. So no need to make any more changes in GoDaddy. We should be good to go here. Um, and the um, application experience in Bubble should be presenting on makersincubator.com once we push this change live. So to show quickly how to do that, we have our development version up here, deploy current version to live. Oh, three things to fix. I know what those things are. Um, I'll fix them later. But yeah, so once you push it to live, uh, you should be able to hit the URL that you just updated and uh, it will present the content from your app in Bubble. And that's how you set it up. Good luck.